Wait, go ahead. Say, a day of waste. A day of waste. Or what? What you won't do? Or what? Or what? Exactly. Go ahead. Guess what? Go ahead. And it says a day of wasteness uh -huh. and desolation, uh -huh. a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. I've been in 105. Now, what? Or what? Or what? Or what? Exactly. Raw, raw, raw. Go about your night. Ask you nicely several times. Go about your night, brother. We're not here for all that. You got demons on you. There's demons on this man. It's demons on this man. It's demons on me, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> because stupidity right here, there's and demons on me. And it says a day of wasteness and desolation. Because I will come. A day of this darkness day. and gloominess. Mm -hmm. A day, day of, of darkness and gloominess. I'll see the Saturday after that, man. Okay, good. I'll see the Saturday after that. Man. I'll be waiting for it. I'll see the Saturday after that. Man. I'll be waiting for it. Good. Good. You, got, you, you done now? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Okay, well, keep on going. Keep, keep on going, brother. Khan, it says a day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of thick of clouds and thick clouds and thick, 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 thick,
thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You know, so as, you know, a good soldier of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, because we are soldiers in this thing. We, once you go out, you go and preach week in and week out, go out to feed the, uh, to, to, uh, bid um, Jake to the marriage, you know what I'm saying? I gather the sheep. This is a battle, man. This is a fight. You know, we're at war, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a battlefield. And we go out and we preach this truth unto the mass. And the truth is not, you know, something everyone likes, man. So with that, with preaching the truth, you're going to have to have some demons come up to you, get in your face, you know what I'm saying? And all types of things, man. But that's a part of this truth, man. And we got to stand through that boat as a line with the faith. And you have Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and that's why how you seen, you know, the brother was able to deal with that so lightly, man. Because the brother, you know, the Lord obviously was dealing with that brother. You know what I'm saying? Which is the head of our camp. You know, to be able to endure that, man. You know, there was worse things that happened to the prophets of old, man. You know. But, you know, even to this day, man, you know, we must follow the scriptures and as a guideline, man. You know, so we got to be able to endure, endure hardness as a good soldier, man. We're soldiers in this thing, man. All right. You know, you never seen a, a soldier cry and bitch up, you know, walk off and drop everything to forget all about the battle and give up. You'll never see a soldier do that, man. Only a weak soldier, man. All right. Only a, a weak and bad soldier. But if you're a good soldier of the Lord, you have Bashan Yahweh Shine, you're truly dedicated and passionate about this truth, man. You're going to sit there and you're going to be bored as a lion and teach this truth no matter what, man. All right. Against all odds, man. All right. Like I said, that wasn't even the only demon that came up upon us, man. You know? There were many other demons, multiple demons, and even the week before that, man. You know, we got to deal with these type of things, man. But we got to sit here and we got to be able to do, deal with it, man. For the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, because prophets before us even dealt with it, man. Prophets before us had to deal with it, man. All right. Now to get this, this is Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. It says, the wicked flee when no man pursueth. All right. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion, you know, to the righteous, you know, we're, we're bold as lions, man. All right, when you see a lion, man, it sit there with no fear, man. It goes against, you know, anything. All right, that's why the lion is the king of the jungle, man. You know, it's able to go against all odds, man. All right, rather it be a bear. Rather it be a gator, rather it be a tiger, man. It will go against it, man, because it's bold. All right? It has that bold mentality, you know what I'm saying? To be able to stand against something that's bigger than them. All right? Now, as you see physically, you know, that man was built, you know, and he had muscle on him. But spiritually, the Lord had us, man. So that man would not be able to even touch us at the end of the day, you know? No matter what he been through, what how many years he been in the, 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 the Navy or anything, man. You know, once the Lord is on your side, man, ain't nothing can touch you. And that's why we truly have, you know, believe and have confidence in the Lord, man. You know, because we understand, man, the Lord can help us. You know, the Lord got us in so many ways, you know what I'm saying, to help us out. And if that, that dude were to touch us, man, that man... Lord, hey man, the Lord would have took that man out, man. All right, the Lord would have took that man out. He knew he couldn't touch us, man. That's why he will always stop, you know. He would get quiet, you know what I'm saying? When the brother will say, or what, you know, or if you try to get too close, you know, the brother will shut it down, man, and, and he will back up. Because at the end of the day, man, it's, it's really demons, you know. Dude was drunk, also. So it's really just demons on that dude, as you see, with the face expressions, the things that he was doing, his body language. Dude had demons on him, man. You know? But we had the angels with us. All right? 
you know, so no matter how bad they try to, the demons try to tempt us, tempt us, you know, we, we set, we, you know, brothers was in order, you know, we set, and we, we set their bold as a lion, that's, you know, it's an example to many other younger camps, man, you know, humbly speaking, to many other humble, uh, younger camps, man, that just come to this thing, how to deal with situations like this, man. All right, you got dudes come up to you. You're gonna have you're gonna have dudes come up to you, try you on some, you know what I'm saying, get all in your face, you know, do everything to provoke you. But you must stay, you know what I'm saying, bold, man. Sit there, you know. And in the day, man, you know, that if the Lord truly does with you, the Lord will not let anything happen to you, man. You know, while you're out there doing his work. You know, the thing that he commanded of you, why would the Lord let anything harm or touch you, man? You know, so at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to deal with things like demons coming out there, you know, bothering you, messing with you, trying you in different type of ways, different type of things, you know what I'm saying? Spiritually or physically or uh, mentally or physically, man, they will try you, you know, talk shit on you, you know what I'm saying? Get all up close on you and shit, man, Tr to try to provoke you, man. And that's what the demons are trying to do. That's what demons always try to do, man. They try to provoke, try to provoke you, you know. But in the day, you must stay, you know, like the scripture says, but the righteous are bold as a lion, <laughs> you know. I get this also. It says, um, let's see. This is, um, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 11 it says, according to the internal purpose which he purposed in Amashiach, Yahweh, our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. All right. So, like it is said, man, you know, in whom we have boldness and access with the confidence by the faith of him. And who is that him? That's the Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We know we have that faith and we have that confidence, you know, and we get that through him, man. You know, once we come, to, come into this truth, man, we be tried multiple times, afflicted multiple times, going through this, man, you know, with all the experience and, you know, tribulation, and afflictions worked up inside of us, man. You know, things like that doesn't phase us anymore, man. All right. Let's get that. This is Romans chapter 5 and verse um, I want to start at verse 2 it says by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh so we have faith you know in this grace you know where we stand, man, you know, we rejoice in the Lord. You have Bashim Yahushai. We continually, continuously have faith in the Lord, man. And as we, you know, was dealing with that dude, you know, we set curses upon that man, man. All right. You know, because brothers was aggravated, man. Brothers was, you know, 
you know, um, getting aggravated, frustrated. At the same time, we still had to do what we had to do, but, you know, we took our aggravation and our frustration and we let the Lord deal with it, man. We don't take the matter into our own hands, man. That's some carnal ass shit, you know. We let the we let the Lord deal with that, man. All right, and we set curses upon that, man. All right. You know, we set curses upon that, man. We, we, uh, we uh, called upon the Lord's name, you know. Um, he, he offended one of the Lord, you know, men. You know, he offended the Lord's men. You know, it says, and not so, not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. All right, so we glory in our tribulations also, man. You know, at the end of the day, man, that was tribulation for us, man. Catching hell, you know, trying to preach this word, man, but you had to go through these damn demons. The damn demon keep attempting us, keep fucking with us, man. He wouldn't leave, man. All right, but we had to sit there and we had to deal with that, man, and we glory in it. At the end of the day, we understood that that's what we got to go through, man. You know, and the Lord understood that when he had to get on that cross, man, that's what he had to go through, man. All right? And the prophets before us understood what they had to go through, man. The persecution, the hate, all those different things, man. That's that's something you must go through once preaching this word and preaching this truth, man. Because not everyone's going to be able to, you know, agree with it. You know? It says, um, knowing that tribulations work with patience. So that tribulation, you know, that should, it, it works with patience, man. Are we able to be patient? That's why brothers were so patient when that, with that man, you know, when he came up, you know, it's just like, and then day we told him to go about his day. He didn't go about his day. You know what I'm saying? We was being patient, man. We were suffering, the scoffing, the mocking, the things that dude was saying, things that dude was doing, especially the head of the camp. You know, our brother had to suffer that, man. All right. Also, the other dude, man, there's another dude who came there, you know, mocking and scoffing, talking about the chariot on the brother garment, you know, the woman. We had to suffer that, man, because it, it, it made us mad, man. It pissed us off, literally, man. You know, it was like, damn, man, what the fuck, you know? you disrespecting the chariots, the angels, you know what I'm saying? But in the, the day, man, we understood the Lord's going to deal with that, man. And we set curses upon those people, man. All right. It says, and patience, uh, knowing that tribulation work with patience and patience experience and experience hope. All right. So that, 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 that patience, you know, work with it experience, man. You know, so you see, we deal with this. We deal with people like this plenty of times before, man. All right. And every time, man, we learn how to deal with, with them a lot better. All right, you know, because we already experienced these type of dudes, man. We already experienced, you know, guys getting butt hurt and emotional. You know what I'm saying? We already experienced all that, so we know how to deal with it. We know how to go about it at the end of the day, you know, and it only builds up more, more hope, man. You know, only builds up more hope, you know, more faith into the Lord, knowing that the Lord's going to come back and destroy niggas like that, man. You know, it only makes us believe him, believe in him more, man, and call upon the Lord more, acts of the Lord more, man. You know, because we ain't stopping, man. All right, Lord willing, man. You know, we ain't stopping, man. All right, but um, <laughs> get this. This is um, Matthew chapter 18 and verse 6. 
It says, but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones. And who is those little ones, man? It says, which believe in me. So those, you know, the brethren, you know, the woman, you know, the ones that believe in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, believe in this gospel and this truth. Whoever shall offend them, it says this, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. So, you know, whoever offend, you know, one of the Lord's little ones, one of the, one of the Lord's men, you know, or, or children that believe in him, believe in this gospel, man, it will be better for a millstone to be hang about your neck and you drown in the depth of the sea, man, because the Lord's going to fucking torment you, man. All right? Now, excuse my French, but, you know, that's, that's, you know, the Lord's no, no joke, man. The Lord's serious about his, man. The Lord's serious about his, the people that believe in him, his men, his prophets, you know, his men that go out and preach, you know, this truth, you know what I'm saying, sacrifice their time and preach this truth, the Lord is serious about that, man, you go out there, you you know, you, you mocking, you scoffing, you, you giving the brothers hell and trouble, man, you know, it's only going to make it worse for yourself, and that's what we understood, man, at the end of the day, we understood that, and we was able to just, you know, through all the, 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 you know, the aggravation, the frustration, man, we do that. The Lord's gonna destroy this nigga, man. All right. You know, for us, the Lord's gonna destroy him for us, man. All right. Um. Let me see. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 19. It says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You know, it says, And the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the, in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perverseness, uh, perseverance, salakia, and supplication for all saints, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. You know, so once you go out there, man, we're armored, you know, spiritually, man, with faith, you know, with the knowledge of the Lord, the word of the Lord, you know, with the spirit, you know, we're, we armor ourselves, man. We get ready. We prepare ourselves, man. We pray, man, you know, before we go out. We we, we prepare for battle, man, you know. Every battle you go into, you know, you know uh, especially the ones in the old times, man, when they used to have war, they would prepare themselves with armor, man. All right? When they were going to a fight, they would always prepare this. Even today, man, when Jay get in the fight, man, they pulling their pants up. They ready to fade, man. You know, they ready to get get to action, man. All right? How much more in this truth, man? When we go out, we got to fight and go against these demons, man. We understand that part, man. So we're, guess what, man? We, we, we arm ourselves with faith, man. You know, with the spirit. You know, with the word of the Lord, man. We always, you know, week in and week out, man, we go out, man, and... Between those weekends, man, we continue doing this work. We continue doing class. We continue studying and praying and, and researching for ourselves to be able to, you know, go back in battle again and become back and come back stronger, man. Every time, you know, it says, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So we open our mouths. We speak boldly, man. All right. So the whole street can hear us and they can know what this truth is about. And it's no joke, man. All right. 
And it's always when, you know, when people come around that area, man, it's like the spirit ship, their spirit ships, man. All right. They would come from talking, whatever they was talking about and being loud to getting quiet and trying to figure out, you know, what's going on, man. All right. They get quiet, try to hurry up and get through and pass by and then they start talking again. But it is always the spirit that changed because they can feel that, 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 you know, that heavy vibration, you know, this truth being brought out, man. They can feel that, man. You know, those demons that they deal with, you know what I'm saying? They see that, man. You know, and it's like, it's, it's light and it's like the, it light up the whole street, man. This truth is spiritually light up the whole street. And it's like those demons, that, that darkness, you know, once they come into that light, their spirit shifts, man, you know, and they can't deal with it. So a lot of them always come up and they always try to start something. A lot of them always come up and they try to seek the light. Or some of them always try to uh, come up and try to seek the light, man, that we're giving off, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, man. <laughs> That's the part of this thing, man, you know, going out, dealing with these demons. But we must speak boldly, you know. But, um, kind of, you know, hope this was edifying. I want to give our praises to the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Makakadash. We get the bonus hours and apostles, the great millstone. Once again, peace and blessings, blessings to the old elect. Shalom.